So hi, everybody. I'm Jane Anson from janeanson.com, and I am super happy to be speaking right now to Sam Barry of Jim Barry Vineyards from Clare Valley. So hi, Sam. How are you doing? Very well, Jane. Hope you're well, too. I am. Thank you. Doing good this morning in Bordeaux. Um, I am wanting, before we kick off, I just want to tell you that I love this wine, the, the Shiraz that you make here. But what I've really noticed this year is the number of people that have said to me who are based either in Bordeaux or, or in Europe and who are used to kind of grown up on Rhone Valley Shiraz or Syrah. And how many of them have said to me how much they absolutely love this 2017 vintage. It's really been striking. So what, what is it you think that they're, that they're reacting to? Yeah, the, the 2017 vintage was very sort of European, for want of a better word. It was one of the coolest years you know, we've had since 2012 and then going back to 2002. So sort of one in 10 years, we, got this, we get these really cool growing seasons. And then 2017 was, was like that. We picked the Armagh over two weeks in, starting in late, late March, which was two to three weeks later than normal. Yeah, and we really had to just wait for the, you know, the grabs to slowly mature. So we can say when you guys are tearing your hair out thinking, oh, my God, this is, <laughs> this is really difficult, we're all loving the results. <laughs> yeah, well, it was actually the, the difficult thing about the 17 harvest was just being patient and, and waiting because normally when we're picking Shiraz and particularly out at Armagh, the window for nailing the vintage is two to three days. That's 17 because we had really cool days the grapes were, were, were best to left to hang out and, and mature really slowly. So we just had to wait and be really patient. We ended up picking the vineyard out over two weeks, which is one of the longest periods from start to finish because it's only a three-hectare site. Yeah, and this is a single vineyard site, which is also really important, I think, for, for, for us to kind of realise. And, and how did you select that particular site or how did your grandfather select that particular site? Well, my grandfather, Jim, was the first qualified winemaker in Clare, and he ran a local cooperative from 1947 you know, to 1966, so 20 years running the co-op. And during that time, he was making wines from all around the valley, and he got a really good understanding. So in the early 60s, when he wanted to develop his own vineyard, he picked an area called Armagh, just two kilometres northwest of Clare, and planted his first vineyard. And the reason why is because it's got it's, it's some alluvial soil out there, which is really unusual for Clare. So most of the soil is either limestone, slate or clay, and to have that sand and gravel is really unique. So he planted Shiraz on the alluvial soil, and my father developed the Armar in, in 1985 you know, on the back of um, eight, the 83 harvest in Bordeaux, which he, which he attended, and he came back and said to his father, if we want to promote Jim Barry on the world stage, then we need to create an aspirational, unique wine that the world will respect. And that's how the Armagh was born. Oh, well, it definitely, definitely, he did a good job. And so has there, have you seen an evolution in the style of, of the Armagh over that time? Or, or is it that so we note like this year is 13.9% alcohol, which is pretty low alcohol. Um, is that, that's not a, an evolution that you've chosen. It's more that's reacting to the vintage. Yes, but they're, they're definitely, I think the wines my brother and I are making now, are, in terms of the, the weight, the medium plus body nature and that the alcohol being in around the sort of high 13s, they're probably more akin to the wines that you know, Grandpa and Dad were making in the early days. I think the, the wines in the, in the 2000s, you know, with, the, with the fashion, they're a little, bit, a little bit more masculine, a bit riper. And my brother and I, we've, we've ta we're taming that a little bit. And also, the vineyard now is 30 years older than when we first started producing our mar, so we're getting phenolic maturity at lower alcohol. But it's also also a conscious effort um, for a little to go for a little bit more elegance and, and finesse. And you see that in the oak handling as well. You know, the initial vintages had a, a strong um, American oak um, thumbprint. You know, we've really dialed that back and the, the current vintages are, are much more more harmonious and, and balanced. Yeah, it is beautiful. And so you spoke about your brother. How do you guys um, work together? What are the areas that you both work on? So my brother's more in charge of the production and I'm in, more in charge of, of the commercial. However, when it comes to the pointy end of, of blending, you know, I'm, I'm right at the table as well. So today, for example, we've just over the last month, we've been working on the 2020 Armagh out the barrels 
Uh, that we've just finalised the 2020 Armour blend just this afternoon. So uh, um, I'm not too hands-on during vintage because I'm normally at Pro Wine or travelling around. Um, but when it comes to the pointy end, I'm at the tasting table and, and, and involved in the, the blending of the final product. And, and this year you've been able to, to um, I guess, take advantage of not travelling so much to also be more hands-on in the winery. Well, yeah, I've spent, I've spent really the last couple of months you know, really at the involved in, in barrel selection and uh, at the tasting bench as well, which I've really, really enjoyed getting in, involved in being, spending a lot more time up at the winery, which is, which is good because not being out of travel, you get a bit restless sitting at the desk, you know, yep. all day, so it's nice to spend. Exactly. You, you, you might not want to go again. You might just like, like it so much doing the, <laughs> the winery. Stuff. Yeah, well, I'm looking, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting back to Bordeaux. So I went in, I came over in 2000, and this time in 2019, to first show the, the negotiations, the 2015 vintage of the Yamaha. Last year, with the, the debut of the, of the great 2016, I wasn't there, but I'm hoping for the 18 vintage, which is a, a quite a similar vintage to 16. It's a, a, a great a great wine. I'm hoping to be in Bordeaux and speaking to you in, in early September 2022. Okay, wonderful. Well, thank you so much. And I love this wine. I really do. I love that it has the kind of generosity of the spice and the plum and all of those kind of really beautifully rich flavours. But then there is always this little low hum that runs right through it of beautiful freshly cut herbs and all this fresh, all this really kind of fresh lifting feeling. It's such a beautiful, beautiful wine. So thank you for sharing it with us. Thank you for talking about it. Thanks, Jane. Always a pleasure. Look forward to seeing you soon. Yeah, me too. Thanks a lot. Jane Anson with Sam Barry. Thank you.